Bon matin madame, on se dirige vers euh, Ikea 8. Basically, our aircraft will be operated by many different airlines. Some will operate in some cold area, some will operate into hot area. And uh, what we need to demonstrate is that everything works well under the most extreme conditions. Once the team is established, uh, they will be equipped one by one with the specific clothing. We target minus 30, but even if we get something like minus 40 or minus 50, they have all the clothing and, and protection that they need. Roger. Hold on, press on this. The choice of Ikaluit is we came there, we have a lot of aircraft. Every time that we have been here, the, the place is fine. Uh, it's cold, which is the aim of the, of the mission. And the guys here are nice, uh, they, they bring us what we need, uh, when we need. So that's really a nice environment to work because it do not add additional constraint on us. All the aircraft is exposed to the cold, so tests are related to engines, APU, electric system, hydraulic systems, landing gear, and so on and so on. Working in the cold is quite difficult because working on aircraft is already something difficult. You have to think a million of things together, uh, it's very complex. And then you combine that with working in the cold, which are harsh environment, you cannot stay outside too long. For the guys who are outside, for example, the mechanics, it's very difficult. Ground crew are sustaining it very well. There are some marvelous crew. I think they are a little bit frozen, but then when, it's, when they are inside, they are find some way to warm up, so that's very good. <laughs> During the night, our objective is to get the aircraft completely unpowered and we still want to be able to wake up in the morning and to have all the latest instrumentation data. For all systems, we will get temperature sensors everywhere. We want to know the temperature of the air, we want to know the temperature of the hydraulics of the various parts, we want to know the temperatures of the structure, but that's not only about temperature, we need also to get all the data required to know if uh, the engine runs well, if the electrical power runs well, and so that's thousands of sensors that we're using. So far we have made a lot of tests and up to now it's working very well. We had no, no failure, almost no failure, and everything went well. So that's really an encouraging mission. I wouldn't think so before coming. I was a bit worried, but now I love the cold. <laughs> <laughs>